Dominic Chirot reporting from the House of Switzerland at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. With me today is Uli Schwartz, Director of National Teams with Switzerland. Canada and USA have dominated the women's hockey world. In 2010, Jacques Rogue mentioned that women's hockey would have to dramatically change if it was to continue as a national sport. The country of Switzerland has made strides in doing that by offering competition to countries such as Canada and the United States. So Uli, tell me what uh, programs are in place in Switzerland to help with Swiss hockey? Well, we're trying to give uh, the women's national team as many days per year uh, where they can come together, work together and train together, skate together and play together. And I think this is big time necessary because uh, we're only having 900 girls playing with a license in Swiss ice hockey, that's not enough. So it's just uh, a must that we bring the best girls together as often as we can. So tell me, uh, with a country as small as Switzerland, what are the obstacles that are faced when uh, the girls grow up uh, and staying in hockey? It's a good question. You know, when you're going through the hockey county of Switzerland and going to the hockey schools where the, the, the kids for hockey are recruited, I would say four out of ten kids are girls. So six to four. So basically on the start line, we're not far from each other. And then they can play together with the boys until 13 years old. And then there is a little bit of a break because if you have, let's say, in a, in a team in a city, you have five, six girls or seven girls per class going on, and then all of a sudden they can't play with the boys anymore, there is not enough girls to make a right. team. Right. So they're obligated to go to the next city or to go somewhere else, to go overseas or whatever, and this causes very often a conflict with the schooling I of see. these girls. And, for example, with a, with a goaltender like Florence Schelling being part of the team, uh, bringing the uh, women's team into the bronze medal uh, game, uh, how does that help uh, imp you know, improve the registration and participation of, of hockey players, uh, whether they be boys or girls, in Switzerland? Well, I think what the team is doing and what Florence is doing it is uh, tremendous for Swiss hockey because it shows everybody that we should not laugh about women's hockey, which is unfortunately a little bit the case. You know, these girls are performing great. These girls are progressing a lot. And I mean, they, they're playing a, a serious, well-structured game. And I Absolutely. mean, as long as everybody sees that there is a progress, and this is sport, and it is a competitive sport, it's inter great, sure. entertaining sport, that helps tremendously to convince cities organizations, politicians, also ourselves in uh, behalf of the Swiss Federation to really think over what's the best we can do to, to make it growing more and more and more. And it definitely is an entertaining sport. It is. I have to say I was excited about watching these games, not only when the Swiss team was playing, it is like very well structured game. You know, like I think what we have to be careful is it is hockey, okay, the men's are playing hockey like this and the women's are playing hockey like this. And too often there is too fast a comparison and I think this is wrong. We don't do that in tennis, we don't do that in ski. Absolutely. Let the girls ski, let the men ski. Absolutely. Let the girls play hockey, let the men's play hockey, but for their sport it's tremendous what these teams are showing. And let me ask you a question, now when you go into uh, uh, the future looking forward after the Olympics, uh, what kind of programs are you putting in place uh, once these uh, Olympics are over to continue uh, the, what might be a, a bronze medal uh, with for Switzerland? Well, to be honest, this question comes maybe a little bit too fast. We all know that, as I explained before, with 13, 14 years old, there is some kind of a break. We're, we're losing too many girls there. So we got to think about what to do that they stay longer, that, that they have a, a good competition on a good level, that they can keep going. And then once they're 16, 17 years old, all, all passes are open. You can go overseas like, like Florence did or other stuff do, or you, you can join the, a, a good structured women's team or whatever. And I mean, I think it's right there where we got to find out what we can do for that group of age that we don't lose them, that they keep going and take the example of Florence and the Swiss team to, to perform and play for Olympic medal. It's incredible. Yeah, well, it's absolutely incredible. Well, listen, I wish you and uh, everybody in Switzerland the best of luck with the women's uh, uh, bronze medal game against Sweden. And uh, this is Dominic Torello reporting from the House of Switzerland at the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics.